Good morning guys once again. Continuations for our topic about inspections for transformer, testings, and standards, etc. So this is the continuations. Okay, let's proceed. Our agenda as, as normal, objective, principles, terminology, constructions, reference standards, typical inspection and test plan, and test details and other related informations. So what is the objectives? Of course, this is our objectives. So you will learn the, for, the purpose of the test, standards, procedures, and typical acceptance criteria, typical mistakes, instruments, and equipment needed. So now we we'll start measure of winding resistance. This is our digital meters. There's a lot of digital meters right now, multimeters. And here, the purpose, uh, the purpose of this to measure the winding resistance in order to correct the load losses to corresponds to the reference temperature for, for efficiency calculations of the transformer. So this is the purpose. Okay, the procedure. This is carried out using the bolt arms methods by feeding DC current less than 10% of nominal current. On its separate winding, LV and HB, low voltage and high voltage, and the reading the output voltage, the mean measured value is the resistance of the winding temperature shall be measured during the test using PP100 sensor. Okay, that's a sample only. Okay, it's a sample of the measurement. So, typical mistakes, wrong connection of instrument winding, not good contact of winding ends, missing or wrong shunt resistance use. And then instrument and equipment use, DC power supply, digital multimeter, or ohmmeter resistance on orange shunt thermometer temperature sensor this is all the pictures as you can see here okay then measure of insulation resistance let's say mega tester mega test so the purpose the purpose of the measurement is to determine the leakage current resistance of the insulations to ensure the healthiness of overall insulation system of an electrical power transformer. So, the insulation resistance depends on the moisture of impurity content of the insulations and the temperature. And then the procedure, insulation resistance is measured by means of insulation resistance like we say meager, usually by applying DC voltage. At that example there is 2,500 volts, that is 2.5 kV for 1 minute or 60 seconds. Then applied voltage depends on the insulation class of winding. Let's always remember that. The test is carried out by connections. The test meager leads between respectively low voltage winding and high voltage winding. Low voltage and earth and between its B and earth. Okay? So typical acceptance criteria test is successful when insulation resistance is greater than the acceptance value. Typical mistakes, wrong value applied voltage, missing or wrong connections of winding earth. So now we are going for our example acceptance testing. So this is our accept acceptance testing, winding insulations class. That is 1.2 down to 15 kV. And then insulation resistance, that is the equivalent result. Um, 600 to 300 mega ohms. At uh, 3000 mega ohms, sorry. So, example of the meager, that's you can see here, downside, below the winding insulations table. The next. Separate source AC withstand test, apply voltage test. So 
The purpose, the objective of this is to secure the insulations between the winding and the insulations between the winding and earth parts withstand the temporary over voltage which may occur in service. How about the procedure? The test made a single phase voltage rated frequency. The test voltage applied for 60 seconds between the winding under test and all terminals of the remaining windings, core and tank of the transformer connected to the earth. So the voltage is measured using capacity voltage divider in conjunction so with the fifth value voltmeter. It indicates the fifth value divided by square root of 2. The test voltage is adjusted according to this meter. Okay, guys? This is our withstand test. So how about the criteria? Test is successful if no collapse of the test value occurs for all durations of test. Then mistakes, typical, wrong value applied voltage, missing wrong connections of winding earth. How about our instrument equipment used? Digital multimeter, multimeter, capacitive voltage divider, elevator transformer, rigidity tester. Sample test. This is our example equipment test. Capacitive voltage divider. And now we have rigidity rigidity tester okay you can see this one during if you are uh, doing fat as well 